Isabel Allende, The Soul of a Woman In The Soul of a Woman, author Isabel Allende reflects on her journey as a woman, daughter, wife, mother, and feminist, all while exploring the societal norms and practices that define and limit women's roles. The book is a powerful testimony of Allende's fight against the patriarchy and its enduring effects on women across generations. Within this book summary, you will encounter examples of how the patriarchy perpetuates misogyny and its influence on women's lives. From personal stories of love and heartache to broader topics such as reproductive rights, aging, and art, Allende demonstrates that a better world is possible when women come together to break down patriarchal barriers and create change. Isabel Allende's Experience with Patriarchy and Feminism Isabel Allende's memoir tells the story of her mother, Panchita, who faced societal pressure as a young woman in love with a man her family didn't approve of. When he left her with children and no resources, Panchita moved to Chile to face relentless gossip and scorn. Isabel saw this as an example of patriarchy, where men hold special privileges. Isabel herself felt the effects of patriarchy from witnessing the mistreatment of housemaids in her childhood. Isabel's memoir shows her journey to recognize the effects of patriarchy in perpetuating misogyny and other forms of aggression. To combat this, Isabel believes that feminism is the answer. Feminism is not just about helping women play the patriarchy game but achieving a better system altogether, one in which both femininity and masculinity are valued. Love and its complexities. Isabel, a feminist who feared spinsterhood, fell in love with Miguel, an engineering student, and got married. Isabel believes that women are willing to self-sacrifice for love, which she calls a tumor in their brains. However, love can make them foolish and blind like Isabel who ran away with a charismatic Argentinian musician, abandoning her family. Men have double standards compared to women in love, like having the expectation of dating a woman 20 or 30 years younger. Online dating encourages honesty but also abuse. Brenda, a successful businesswoman, fell for a con artist who made his money seducing women with false internet personas. Love is complicated, and the moral of the story is not to trust too easily. The Power of Women's Creativity the House of the Spirits author Isabel Allende found her calling in writing for a feminist magazine that gave her purpose and allowed her to express her beliefs. Her success in a male-dominated industry was hard-fought, but it paved the way for women writers today. Allende's mother, a talented oil painter, was discouraged from pursuing her art due to patriarchal beliefs that only men could be true artists. This idea continues to perpetuate a system that devalues women's creative work as mere crafts, while men's work is celebrated as high art. The world needs to recognize and value women's creativity for what it truly is to create an equal playing field. Embracing Femininity, Society's Manipulations In When Isabel Wakes Up, the author details the relationship between femininity and feminism, highlighting that they complement each other rather than being at odds. Patriarchy seeks to turn women's love of beauty and femininity against them by exploiting their insecurities to sell products and control their sexuality. Isabel is a strong advocate for legal abortion, having helped a teenager obtain the procedure when it was illegal in Chile. She now fights for vulnerable women of all backgrounds through her charity, recognizing that women must take back control of their bodies. Aging Gracefully and Purposefully Aging is often treated as a character flaw that should be reversed or erased, but the reality is that it's a natural part of life. Isabel, a writer in her 70s, shares her experience of aging and how her friend Olga Murray, a 94-year-old activist, inspired her to age with purpose. Olga's mission to rescue and care for young girls in Nepal has kept her young and strong, and she's just one example of the emboldened grandmothers who have the potential to change the world. These women have lived long lives and have the freedom to speak up because they no longer feel the need to people please. The world needs their voices in order to change the perception of aging and embrace the value of purposeful aging. What Women Really Want In this book, 
The author tells the story of a thief who was given a chance to escape punishment if he could answer the riddle, What Do Women Want? She explores the various answers to this question found on the internet, most of which don't align with her own experience or that of the women she knows. Through research, she concludes that women want safety, peace, respect, control over their bodies, and love, but patriarchy often denies them these things. Patriarchy leads to violence against women, which is an inherent component of it. The author believes that men fear feminine power, and we must fight for societal change to solve these problems. Ending Patriarchy During a trip to India, Isabel encounters a newborn baby girl that was abandoned by her mother due to patriarchy. This event triggers an urge in Isabel to advocate for ending patriarchy on a macro level by investing in women in developing countries, and on a personal level by fostering connections between women. Isabel believes that women empower each other and create a world of beauty, peace, mutual respect, and compassion. This world can exist when we work towards it together. Isabel Allende's The Soul of a Woman wraps up by envisioning a world free from the constraints of patriarchy and the limitations it places on women. Key takeaways from this empowering summary include the importance of fostering connections among women, investing in opportunities that uplift entire communities, and dismantling traditional norms that perpetuate gender-based inequalities. By replacing these antiquated systems with one in which femininity is valued equally alongside masculinity, we can work collectively to nurture a future of beauty, peace, and compassion for all.